charging an electroscope by contact method. In this method, a charged body is brought into contact with the cap of the electroscope as shown in the figure below. Because the positive charge on the rod are in contact with the negative charge at the cap, the two charges neutralize, i.e. negative charges move to the rod and positive charge move to the cap. It will be observed that at the leaf, the leaf diverges because of like charges at the point, positive charges. The more positive charges at the leaf will make the leaf to diverge at a greater angle. If the process is continued, the electroscope will charge to a maximum point in which the leaf cannot diverge any further. Note. The charged material coming into contact with the cap of the electroscope is an insulator. Only charges on the rod's surface coming into contact with the cap are used in neutralizing the charges induced on the cap. Charging through induction. In this method a charged body is brought near to the cap of the electroscope and because of attraction the cap is going to have opposite charge while at the leaf is going to have same charge because of repulsion as shown. The positive charges at rod attract the negative charge at the cap and repel positive charge at the leaf. The positive charges at the leaf repel one another thus making the leaf to diverge through an angle. In order to eliminate the charges at the leaf, one is required to earth the cap by the use of a finger or a wire while maintaining the position of the charging rod as shown. Through earthing electrons are going to flow from the ground through the cap down the leaf to neutralize the positive charge hence making the leaf to fall. These electrons when they are passing through the cap, they are not affected by the negative charge at the cap. This is because the negative charge at the cap and the positive charge on the rod are strongly attached because of attraction. While maintaining the position of the rod removes the finger or the earth wire first in order to avoid the negative charge at the cap not to escape down to the ground. Finally remove the positive charged rod away from the cap. Because of like charges at the cap they will repel one another in order to distribute uniformly on the cap and the leaf. The negative charges which move to the leaf diverge once more indicating electroscope has been charged.